Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to make this beautiful blintz recipe using some really beautiful crepes that are filled with a sweet ricotta creamy cheese filling and of course topped with a proper dusting of powdered sugar to finish. That said, let's get cracking on this blintz recipe. All right, so first up is getting the crepes ready. So in a mixing bowl, you're gonna add in the milk, egg, sugar, and salt, then give it a solid whisk for about a minute. After that, you're gonna add in the flour and continue to whisk until the batter is relatively smooth. Then add in the melted butter and whisk until that's incorporated as well. After the batter has come together, you're gonna get a small nonstick saute pan on medium heat, wipe a little bit of melted butter around the pan, leaving just a small slick of it for the crepes. Uh, then you're gonna ladle in just enough batter to swirl around the pan, but not too much to create a pancake. You should be able to see through the batter to the bottom of the pan. It does take a few ruined crepes to get the amount of batter and speed of the swirl just right, so try not to get frustrated with this process. Once you've kind of found your uh, crepe rhythm, you're gonna cook the crepes until golden brown on one side, then give it a flip and kiss the other side of the crepe with the hot pan for about 30 more seconds and it should be ready to slide right out and onto the baking tray. Also make sure to put some parchment paper in between each layer of crepe because they tend to stick together the longer they sit together. Now that the crepes are all finished up, it's time to make the beautiful ricotta cheese filling. So in another mixing bowl, um, you're gonna add in the ricotta cheese. Ideally, you'd wanna let the ricotta sit in cheesecloth overnight, but not 100% necessary. Um, anyways, add in the egg yolk, followed by the sugar, a pinch of salt, and finally, some lemon zest. Give this a good mix, then it's on to assembling the crepes. Uh, this definitely is not a complicated little process, but if you are familiar with making burritos, then this will be a cinch since it's basically the same maneuver. Uh, fold the edges in as you roll to create a trapped pocket of filling. Uh, once you've got the technique down, you're gonna repeat it until all the crepes are rolled up and assembled. All right, so last but not least, you're gonna get a large nonstick pan on medium heat with some melted butter and start to gently fry the blintzes until they are a beautiful, crispy, golden brown on both sides. Uh, this shouldn't take any more than two minutes on each side, uh, but just be careful of burning the crepe since it's already fragile to begin with. Uh, once they're fried up though, place them onto a serving tray of your choice and top with powdered sugar to finish, and that's it. Crispy, fluffy, cheese-filled blintzes. Hey, what's up guys? All right, so the blintz recipe is done. This looks really good. I'm excited to dive in. I've given one to my wife and one to my kiddos to share already, but I'm gonna run through the flavors and um, tell you guys how I did on this recipe. All right, I'm gonna do one by one because they can get a little bit messy. Oh. 
Mm. Really cool contrasting flavors. You have a slightly crispy crepe and then this beautiful, rich, lemony filling. Mm. This is such an impressive breakfast or dessert. It's, um, it's not savory at all, but it's not as sweet as you would imagine um, a dessert being. You could definitely serve this maybe even in place of pancakes in the morning. Um, it's definitely rich, so keep that in mind. Um, but this is a really a cool way to impress people. If you ever bring people over, if they're staying at your house, you could whip these up the night before and fry them up the next morning. So that's kind of nice. Instead of pancakes, you kind of have to make it on the fly. Plus there's a, a lot of different ways you can prepare crepes. There's savory versions, sweet versions. So if you overdo it on the crepes, there's so many different variations uh, that you could play with, which I really like. Uh, this is my first time making blintzes and I feel like it turned out amazing. Mm. Also, you could present this in a lot of fun ways. I mean, if you layered these on a tray after you fried them up, put them on a big platter with um, even some preserved lemon on top and the powdered sugar, people would just go crazy. Even some macerated berries and some fun stuff like that. But this is great. Tender, crispy, creamy. Mm. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the recipe. If you did, subscribe to my channel. Comment down below on um, whether you liked it or not or things you'd like to see on my channel. Make sure you check the description box for equipment links and uh, ingredient lists uh, for this recipe. Um, also make sure to click the notification bell if you guys haven't already, just so you keep up to date with my videos and that you're not missing out um, on any recipes. So hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Later folks.